Good morning, everybody. How are you doing? It's Travis Gendler. Today is Wednesday, June the 19th, 2019, the year of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To Him be the honor and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Well, today we are doing Genesis chapter 16, verses 1 through 16. And the title is Sarai and Hagar. Sa Sarai and Hagar. And that's what it says. Now, Sarai, Ab Abram's wife, had borne him no children. She had a female Egyptian servant whose name was Hagar. And by the way, Hagar, which means, which is Hebrew, which means be built up or, or, or it sounds like the Hebrew word for children. And Sarai said to Abram, Behold, now the Lord has prevented me from bearing children. Go into my servant, it may be that I shall obtain children by her. And Abram, and Abram listened to the voice of Sarai. And so, and so after Abram had lived ten years in the land of Canaan, Sarai, Abram's wife, took Hagar the Egyptian, her servant, and gave her to Abram, her husband, as a wife. And he went in to Hagar, Hagar, and she conceived. And when she saw that she had conceived, she looked with she looked with contempt on her mistress. And Sarai said to Abram, May the wrong done to me may the wrong done to me be on you. I gave my servant to you to your embrace, and when and when she saw that she had conceived, she looked on me with contempt. May the Lord judge between you and me. But Abram said to Sarai, Behold, your servant is in your power. Do to her as you please. Then Sarai dealt harshly with her, and she fled from her. The angel of the Lord found her by a, by a spring of water in the wilderness, the spring on the way to, on the way to Shur. And he said, Hagar, servant of Sarai. Where have you come from, and where are you going? She said, I am fleeing from my mistress Sarai. The angel of the Lord said to her, Return return to your mistress and submit to her. The, the angel of the Lord also said to her, I will surely multiply your, multiply your offspring, so that they cannot be numbered for multitude. And the angel of the Lord said to her, Behold, you are pregnant, and you shall bear a son. You shall call his name Ishmael, because the Lord has listened to your affliction. And the word Ishmael means God hears. That's what Ishmael means. Ishmael means God hears. He shall be a wild donkey of a man, his hand against everyone, and, and everyone's hand against him. And he shall dwell over... And, and, and he shall dwell over against all his kinsmen. So, so she called the name of the Lord who spoke to her. You are, you are, you are a God of seeing. For she said, truly here I have seen him who looks after me. Therefore the well was called Bir, Bir Lara, Bir Laroi. It lies between Kiddush and, and Bered. And Hagar bore Abram a son, and Abram called the name of, of his son, whom Hagar bore Ishmael. Abram was 86 years old when Hagar bore Ishmael to Abram. Well, this is kind of an interesting story, isn't it? Well, let's go back and just review this. What's been going on? Well, we have Sarah, Abram's wife. Now, now remember, Abram, Abram and Sarah are both very advanced in age. And neither one of them could have children. Okay? So, Sarah, Sarah had an had a, had a Egyptian maid named, or Egyptian servant named Hagar. She gave her to her husband. And, and obviously, and Abram listened to his wife, which, which, which sometimes is a good thing and sometimes is a bad thing. But let me say this, husbands and wives should always listen to each other. Husbands and wives should always listen to each other. 
and the love, and also and also respect. So Hagar took her took Sarai's mistress. He had his, he had intimacy with her, and she became pregnant. Now after this, what happened? Sarah got a little Sarah got a little upset, didn't she? She got a little upset. She goes, "Hey, may the wrong be done to me. May may the wrong be done to me be on you. I gave you my servant, and look what you did." And she conceived. She looked on me with con be. She looked on me with with contempt. But Abram said to her, Sarah, behold, your servant is in your power. You do with her as you please. So Sarai talked to her servant, and what happened? She left. And then when Hagar left, the angel of the Lord appeared to Hagar, and he asked her, where are you going, and where did you come from? She told the angel of the Lord, no, I'm leaving my mistress, Sarai. And, but the Lord, but the Lord said to her, return to your mistress and submit to her. And, she, and the angel of the Lord said that she is pregnant. She told Hagar that, hey, look. That she said, Hagar, you're pregnant. You're gonna have, you're gonna bear a son. You get a name of Ishmael. And so later on, that's what happened. Hagar bore Ishmael. Hagar bore Abram a son. Now, Abram was 86 years old when. When his when Hagar gave birth to Ishmael, so basically, what happened was that Hagar was a surrogate mother, so to speak. That, that's what that's 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 basically that's basically what it was was a Hagar, Hagar was a surrogate mother or a surrogate woman to carry the child for Sarai because she couldn't have a child. So so let me just say this to you. All this stuff that happens in the in the New Testament, or actually, excuse me, the Old Testament in, the, in Genesis is real. It happened. So, so what's the moral of the story here? Is that is this? God will deal with everybody correctly. He will deal with everyone justly. There's no sin that basically you can hide under the rug. Okay, your sin will find you out. So, guys, just remember that God is faithful. He did. He kept his promise to to Hagar, and we'll see later on what goes on with Abram and and, and Sarah. And also tomorrow we're going to find out that Abram gets his name changed by God. He gets his name changed by God. Okay, so guys, if you like this video, you know what to do. Give it a big thumbs up. Hit the like button down below. Hit the Hit the hit, hit hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to get notified of all that I post. And guys, have a great day. God bless. And I will try to link a and I will try to put a link in the lovely description box down below of my second YouTube channel. Okay, so guys, have a great day. God bless. And remember, you are loved by God. Have a great day, everybody. God bless.